meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Good morning. Today is the good part of the weekend. Tomorrow is the not so good part of the weekend. We'll get to the Sunday Futurecast in just a minute. Right now, live Pinpoint Doppler 12 actually going into future cast mode. So we're looking at this afternoon as I cycle through this. Notice what happens. Just a few little areas of green pop up indicating a slight chance of a brief shower. Most of us see nothing at all and just see the partly cloudy skies and warm conditions throughout the day. And then tomorrow morning, this is five o'clock in the morning. Once we get towards the lunchtime hour on Sunday, in fact, any time from the late morning into the lunchtime hour, there will be the risk of some off and on showers, but you may be able to get some things done outside, but there may also be some interruptions in terms of the heavy soaking rain that does not arrive until the late afternoon through the evening. In fact, that would likely come after three or four o'clock through the evening hours. This is at 8 p.m. Notice the yellows and the reds indicate the threat of some of those very heavy downpours. That's what happens when we have tropical moisture, which will be sucked in by a front. We often get the risk that some of these downpours can be very heavy and you can see rainfall rates of over one inch per hour. This is 11 p.m. with still the threat of some heavy downpours, especially down here towards the south coast. So it's simply a situation we need to watch. There will be the risk of some isolated street flooding again late Sunday afternoon through Sunday night by Monday. It's gone where we have a mostly dry start to the work week. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 showing dry conditions across southern New England. The Special Olympics going on today at the URI campus in Kingston, and we're looking dry right now on live pinpoint Doppler 12. And other than that slight risk of a shower today, we will keep it dry all day long here in Kingston, which is great news for the Special Olympics. All right, looking at some hazy sun from the hurricane barrier, the flags flapping in the wind just a little bit, and we're going to keep you in the low category on the threat tracker. We put you in the medium category tomorrow, primarily for the second half of the day with the heavy downpour threat. Temperature is almost 70 already in Providence, 66 in Taunton, 62 Newport. We're sitting at 63 in Westerly, so a relatively mild start with light winds anywhere from calm to around five miles an hour. Eventually these winds will bend in from the south today as those sea breezes get going. In fact, it's because of those sea breezes where we will have a slight risk of some showers because of what we call a sea breeze front developing into the afternoon. Uh, a couple things to show here. This is Tropical Storm Bonnie kind of brought back from just the remnants earlier now redeveloping into a tropical storm. Fortunately, that will push out to sea. We also have what could become Colin stirring down just to the south of the Gulf of Mexico. There's some tropical moisture out ahead of Colin that will stream towards southern New England by tomorrow, get kind of sucked on, sucked up by a cold front, which will give us the risk of some of those downpours. So it's not Colin itself that moves through tomorrow evening, but some moisture out ahead of Colin. Now our temperatures this afternoon, 1 p.m., low 80s from Providence into Smithfield, cooler at the coast in the 70s with those sea breezes kicking in. And at 2, 3 o'clock, we're quite warm for places like West Greenwich, Smithfield, mid 80s, low to mid 80s in Providence with 70s continuing along the south coast and then down into the uh, upper 60s by the late afternoon. Afternoon. So all in all, it's not a bad beach day. We do have to work through some of this morning fog, which we are seeing out there. So morning fog, afternoon sun, mid 70s at the beach tonight. More fog develops, some of this quite thick temperatures in the low 60s. And then tomorrow in the seven day future cast, we bring in the rain. I'm still not calling for an all day washout with the lighter off and on showers during the morning and then from the mid to late afternoon, some of those heavier showers starting to fill in. So if you're trying to get something done outdoors tomorrow, at least you have a shot. You have a chance during the first half of Sunday, Monday, 81 degrees with a mix of sun and clouds, a slight chance of a quick pop up shower. And then next Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, notice how we have the risk of some showers and thunderstorms during the middle of the week and then cooler with temperatures in the low to mid 70s by Thursday. We will be watching also for what could become Colin to maybe uh, pass to our south during the middle towards the end of next week. Not making a hit or anything like that, but maybe some possible swells at the beaches towards the end of the week. Plenty to track as always, but we can enjoy Saturday. Yes, we We're can. Shape. I love having a good Saturday in Absolutely. the future cast to start off the weekend. We'll deal with tomorrow tomorrow. Yes, we will. Pete, thanks so much. Covering New England for you this morning. Please say they do not believe now.